Hi, and welcome to Explorations in Economic History. This is Explorations in Economic History and Thought Socialism, and today we are talking about whether Marx and the Bolsheviks actually intended for socialism to be a planned economy. We will be asking whether the Bolsheviks intended to centrally plan the economy, or whether they were more interested in eliminating money and introducing workers' cooperatives without any kind of a planned economy underlying it. That question will then give us insight in order to ask the further questions about whether the Soviet experience matched the predictions of its advocates, whether there were economic policy issues faced by Lenin and his workers' government once they came into power and once they put into place this planned economy, and um, what went wrong and why did Lenin retreat to the new economic policy and so on and so forth. Marx argued in a Critique of the Gotha Program, is where the um, quote comes from, Marx argued that a dictatorship of the proletariat would be necessary in the transition period between capitalism and communism during the socialist or lower phase of communism period. The famous quote goes, between capitalist and communist society, there lies the period of the revolutionary transformation of the one into the other. Corresponding to this is also a political transition period in which the state can be nothing but the revolutionary dictatorship of the proletariat. What would the dictatorship look like? Is Marx talking about a totalitarian dictator, a Pinochet-style dictator, some kind of military tyrant? No. Dictatorship of the proletariat means the dictatorship, so-called, of all the workers coming together to govern a society with commonly owned resources. It means a worker state, a dictatorship meaning that the workers could decide how everything was done, but it would be the workers, all of the workers, that would be deciding this. When communism was realized, the state would wither away, but what state was it that would wither away? It's some kind of a worker state with workers owning the resources that would wither away. It would not be a bourgeois state because you cannot go directly from capitalism to communism. So this in-between state that must wither away is a worker state, a dictatorship of the workers. 